Hello friends, you are most welcome again into the Biology Patshala by Vajasar and uh, in chapter number 5, Hereditary Variation. Uh, once again, we are here with uh, the dihybrid cross experiment. Now, dihybrid cross is said to be dihybrid because it is dealing with the two different kind of the genes and two genes are responsible for two different types of characteristic features so it is the inheritance of two different genes which are inherited from parent to offspring and from one offspring to the other offspring so generation by generation when you are considering two different genes how they are inherited from one generation to generation that experiment will show you that particular type of the uh, movement fine if we are taking a parental generation that is p with two types of different plants fine one plant is having the seed that is round in shape and yellow in color which are dominant trait so capital R capital R is it is homozygous pure and yellow that is capital Y capital Y is it is homozygous that is pure so it is pure homozygous round yellow seed and it is getting crossed with the other uh, pure but recessive trait that is uh, a seed with wrinkled and green color so these two plants when they are producing uh, different types of gametes uh, one out of these two capital R so one capital R will be forwarded and out of these two capital Y one will be for, uh, forwarded into the gamete so gamete will carry one capital R and one capital Y similarly here gamete will contain one small R out of these two and one small y out of these two so that these will carry small r and small y with it when these will fertilize it will produce capital r small r capital y small y into the next progeny that is f1 generation so f1 generation will contain heterozygous round and yellow colored seed capital r is responsible for these round character and capital Y is responsible for this yellow character though small r and small y is present but due to the dominant allele capital R or dominant allele capital Y this green color and wrinkled seed these characters will not be able to express here fine when it is shelved that is being crossed with the similar type of the plant this will again have to produce the gametes and the other seed has to produce the other gametes so now gametes which will be produced by this round and yellow colored seed plant will be of four kind now how this we of uh, uh, this will be of four type so if i consider genotype capital a small a capital B small b one out of these two and one out of these two has to be carry forwarded into the gamete so if I consider first as capital a small a heterozygous so either this capital a or this small a will be carry forwarded so let us consider first this capital a so this capital a can be paired with capital either capital B or with small b which is here so capital a either with small b or with capital b first out f o and in last i f o i l foil method it is right so capital a capital b or capital a small b or small a capital b or small a small b this will be forming one two three and four different kinds of gamete so similarly here you can find two four kind of gametes capital r small uh, sorry capital r capital y capital r small y here 
small r capital y here and small r small y here so similar kind of gametes will be produced by the other plant if fertilization happen between these gamete and these gamete resultant offspring will be of these capital r capital r capital y capital y like this right if this will fertilize with this gamete then this capital r small r here capital y capital y here so accordingly according to this punnett chart you can find various 16 type of the offsprings right now based on genotype which are given here right we can we are supposed to find the phenotype so genotypical and phenotypical typical ratio we are supposed to find now based on the experiment given here so first genotype capital r capital r capital y capital y i mentioned it here now due to one of the capital r it will produce round or one of the capital y it will produce yellow color so it will be round and yellow in color right so this kind of genotype will be produced on this chart out of 16 only one right this is the one only one so this one number of genotype capital r capital r capital y capital will be one right fine the other uh capital r small r capital y capital y so capital r small r capital y capital y this will be two this one and this one right so these two are there now third one capital r capital r capital y small y it is here capital r capital r capital y small y this will be one and two so this will be two and if you find the fourth one capital r small r capital y small y 1 2 3 and total 4 are there which are these so total 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 total number of offspring will be 9 which will carry round and yellow seeds out of 16 9 will be carrying round and yellow seeds right so this is phenotype this is genotype this is number of genotype and this is number of phenotype now accordingly if i count capital or oh, sorry small r small r capital y capital y which will be here right and uh, small r small r capital y small y which is here so 1 is to 2 is the ratio total three plant will be carrying right wrinkled and yellow seeds the other one here capital r capital r small y small y capital r capital r small y small y 1 right and capital r small r small y small y 1 and 1 2 total 2 here it is so total number of 3 will be carrying round and green colored seeds right so 1 is to 2 and the last one small r small r small y small y only one out of this 16 so number of phenotype 9 3 3 1 so round and yellow seeds here these are nine in number round and green colored they are three in number wrinkled and yellow these are three in number and wrinkled green that is one in number so 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 is ratio of phenotype it is also known as phenotypic ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 similarly if i count genotypical ratio it is said to be 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 that will be the genotypical ratio of the same inheritance of the two genes crossover so if you take any of the two different types of gene and if you follow this uh, this experiment you will find the similar type of result either for the genotype or for the phenotype there must be no change into the ratio right
Now, if we are looking to the different postulates of the Mendel dihybrid cross experiment, the major postulate is law of the independent assortment. Now, assortment is uh, assorting one gene and assorting the other, right? So it is, uh, it is freely, free movement, which is independent than each other. For example, in the pair of gene, one gene is R and other is Y. So what independent assortment means that if capital Y wants to move from one generation to the other, it is not depending on capital R. Right? So capital Y is independent than capital R. Similarly, small r is independent than small y of the first parental generation. So if the inheritance of more than one pair of character that is two pair or more is studied simultaneously that is the hybrid cross. The factor or gene for each pair of characters assault out that is sent out independently of each other's pair right so one pair is not depending on the other for forwarding from one generation to the other so different genes moves the independently from each other now mendel formulated these law from a result of dihybrid cross as he found new genetic recombination than the original parental gene recombination. Now what is original parental gene recombination? Right? Fine. Original parental combination are capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. That is parental generation. Uh, pure homozygous but dominant. Here small r, small r, small y, small y. Parental generation pure but recessive now capital r small r and capital y small y it is with f1 generation that is heterozygous but with the dominant character of the phenotype that is round and yellow in color these three are original parental combination but if you see f2 generation you find new recombination that is this kind of recombination which are occurred. So it is not at all showing that these two are dependent on each other or these two are dependent on each other or these two are dependent on each other. This can fuse with these as well. This can fuse with this as well and this can fuse with any other. So recombination is found into the offspring. So any of the gene into the pair of the allele is independently assorted into F2 generation, right? And that is why it is postulate is known as independent assortment of the gene, right? Now, let us consider the exception on the dihybrid cross total number of exception is fourth so polygenic inheritance right it is the name of the exceptional case fine when the expression of any trait is generally regulated by two or more genes right it is called the polygenic inheritance because in general the trait is regulated only by one gene one gene one trait but here more than one gene and one trait so poly matlab, more than one genic genes more than one genes are regulating the character or inheritance of the one character one phenotype right now when complexity of expression of trait is very high not high if high then it will be multiple allele but if it is very high then it is polygenic inheritance in that case this can be possible 
the ex, uh, the example of the polygenic inheritance is the skin color of human which will be regulated by three genes three independent genes gene a gene b gene c all of them are carrying two alleles right so capital a small a capital b small b capital c small c if homozygous pure capital a capital a capital b capital b and capital c small c uh, sorry capital c capital c if pure homozygous but recessive small a small a small b small b small c small c right if you see try hybrid cross experiment based on this fact these three genes here small a small a small b small b small c small c recessive pure homozygous right this will produce pure white in color which is, are found in european continent people right capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c pure homozygous and dominant character this is recessive character this is dominant character produce very dark color which is found into negro type of the population so this capital a this capital b or this capital c is responsible for the production of melanin these are very active very active and very active so very actively producing melanin that is why it is dark less active less active less active not active but inactive that's why unable to produce melanin that is why very complex very light in color right when this will produce gamete small a small b small c will be into the gamete this will produce gamete capital a capital b capital c when it fuses it will produce capital a small a capital b small b capital c small c f1 generation ready when it will be self crossed with the same f1 generation it will produce many because this will produce eight different kind of egg and this will produce eight different kind of sperm that is zygote capital a capital b capital c right capital a capital b small c two capital a small b capital b capital a small b small c right three more similarly this way 2 plus 2 four for capital a same way 2 plus 2 for the small a so four for small a four for capital a total number of gamete produced are eight so eight gamete from here eight gamete from here total number of offspring will be produced eight into eight 64 64 if one generation type of offspring will be produced out of 64 one will be carrying original parental this very light color one will be carrying very dark color rest of all will be carrying new recombination right so that will produce different types of skin pigmentation so that will be the most dominant one will be brown colored right but this will be brown colored which will be asian in nature asian subcontinent will found this kind of recombination right so 20 out of 64 will be that kind of so more uh, number of offspring will be produced into f2 generation of tri hybrid will be this one into the skin color pigmentation so this is the experiment showing the tri hybrid cross as well which is showing the polygenic inheritance right if we see now if we see for the fifth exception that is the sec second exception of the tri hybrid cross is pleiotropism fine one gene regulates one trait at a time generally but when one single gene is responsible for regulation of expression of two or more trait so one gene more trait generally it is one gene one trait here it is one gene many traits so this phenomena 
is known as pleiotropism and this gene is said to be pleiotropic gene the example of pleiotropic gene is gene which is responsible for synthesis of starch granule right in pea plant now uh, the the gene which is responsible is denoted as capital b right or small b there are two types of allele so capital b capital b it is actively synthesized large sized granule which will produce in turn round seed right so round seed is why round because of the large size granule of the starch we see which is responsibility of this pure capital b capital b gene right so gene which is responsible for synthesis of starch granule is responsible for the round seeded characteristic now if we see wrinkled seed small b small b homozygous recessive which is producing very small size of granule but if you see capital b small b when heterozygosity is seen it will synthesize medium size granule so it is intermediate type of the expressions right so if these gene is responsible for produce one two and three different types of the traits at together so this is also example of the incomplete dominance why because into the heterozygous capital b and small b it produces intermediate type of expression right so expression of capital b as well and expression of small b as well right a bit large bit small so it is medium type of the size of the granule what we can find in heterozygous capital b and small b type of the expressions or genotype so expression of the phenotype will be medium size granule which is incomplete dominance as well so this will denote two types of expression incomplete dominant example as well and pleiotropism example as well right the other example is gene of sickle cell anemia pleiotropism the other example is gene of the sickle cell anemia which is hbs gene fine the main effect of hbs gene is production of the anemia it is producing the abnormality called anemia but if you see it can affect the other effects as well so it affects the development of bones lungs kidney spleen and heart these are all important very vital inner organs or internal organs so it is having effect on the development of these whole organs as well right so this is also one gene and many effect so it is also example of the pleiotropism based on uh, the complexity of these uh, uh, characteristics uh, characteristics expressions uh, mono hybrid di hybrid and genetical interactions is a name of the topic which is a special point which is just for the knowledge because it is not going to come into your syllabus but somehow if into creation of the complexity right they can twist the question and ask this term genetical interaction when one gene is interacting with the other what kind of expression can be of phenotype so genotype is genetical interaction and phenotype it is the expression of that genetical interaction fine so if we talk about genetical interaction it is of two type one is intergenetic one is intragenetic right so within the gene when expressions are followed is all intergenetic and with two different type of gene when they are interacting then it is intragenetic so this is gene single gene and alleles are interacting this is two different gene and those alleles are interacting 
the example of intergenetic interactions are incomplete dominance co-dominance multiple allele and pleiotropism what all we have uh, we have already studied lethal gene when two different types of allele fuse together and both are recessive and express such a way that it produces such toxic substances which is killing the object or killing the organism it is called lethal genes right so generally it is homozygous and recessive expression but then and then only when the genes are actually ruptured or we can say it is getting uh, highly mutated so mutation is very high and when they are becoming homozygous at that kind of condition it can be lethal fine if we talk about the intragenetic expressions one is complementary gene fine example is lathyrus odoratus now what is complementary gene so when allele can be expressed only in presence of a particular other that is complementary allele then only that allele can be expressed so that is called complementary allele fine the epistasis is the other intragenetic interaction so when one allele control or stop the expression of the other allele it is the case is said to be epistasis two types of epistasis is possible one is dominant epistasis when it is a control of expression of dominant gene for example color of pumpkin cot and recessive epistasis in that it controls the expression of recessive genes for example color of the skin of the red right so that one allele when it is present it stop the expression of the other allele that is called the epistasis dominant if it is controlled by, uh, uh, control of the dominant gene it is dominant epistasis and if it is control of the recessive gene it is called the recessive epistasis now third interaction of intragenetic uh, uh, expression is polygenic inheritance right now what is polygenic inheritance polygenic inheritance we have already have studied just uh, before one trait is controlled by many gene and the color of the skin of the human is the example what we have studied and the last one is the cytoplasmic inheritance when the trait is controlled by gene which is present into cytoplasm that is not in the nucleus it is called cytoplasmic inheritance for example dna of mitochondria and chloroplast which are present either in uh, mitochondria or in chloroplast in the form of the circular dna what we know right so it is the example of the cytoplasmic inheritance so here we are concluding right this dihybrid cross